Decoding Idioms, Understanding on the Fence. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the world of idiomatic expressions in the English language. Idioms can add color to our conversations and help us express ideas in a creative way. One such phrase is, on the fence. Let's explore what this phrase means, how to use it in your daily conversations, and some examples to clarify its usage. Stick around to become more confident in using on the fence in your English conversations. The phrase on the fence doesn't literally mean sitting on a fence. Instead, it's an idiom that means being undecided or neutral about a decision or opinion. When someone is on the fence, they can't decide which side to choose or they are hesitant to make a choice between different options. It reflects a state of indecision or neutrality. Understanding the origin of idioms can make them easier to remember. The phrase, on the fence, likely comes from the image of someone sitting on a fence, not moving to either side. It perfectly captures the idea of not committing to one side or the other in a debate or decision. This imagery helps us remember what the phrase means and how to use it in conversation. Using on the fence correctly can help you sound more like a native speaker. Here are some tips. Use it when talking about decisions or opinions. It's usually used with the verb to be, as in, I am on the fence, she is on the fence, etc. It fits well in informal conversations and can also be used in more formal discussions. Example sentences. 1. I'm on the fence about going to the party. I want to go, but I also need to study for my exam. 2. Our boss is still on the fence about allowing remote work. He sees both the pros and cons. While, on the fence, is a straightforward idiom, there are common mistakes to avoid. Don't use it to describe physical positions, it's about decisions or opinions. Avoid using it in situations where a decision has already been made. It's only used when the indecision is present. Today, we've climbed over the hurdle of understanding the idiom, on the fence. We explored its meaning, origin, usage, and even went through some examples and common mistakes. Now, you're well equipped to use this idiom in your daily English conversations. Remember, learning idioms can be fun and can add a lot of flavor to your language skills. Thanks for joining, and I hope this video helps you feel more confident in your English language journey.